guys so happy to see you here um today is a special day not because it's friday but it's because i reached 1000 subscribers and i'm so super excited for my little channel and i want to thank you all for tuning in so in light of that i decided that i should definitely make a video and the very first videos series that i ever put out was bon Qui Qui does makeup since then, I've learned a little bit more about makeup, so I'm going to share with you how to properly apply foundation and concealer and give you some facts about Alabama because I'm from Alabama. Anyway, so thank you for tuning in and let's get started, okay? Uh, but before we get started, I say that all the time. I'm like, let's get started, and then I'm like, well, wait, there's more. Um, I just want to point out all the imperfections. I have wrinkles. I've got um breakouts on my face and i have a double chin i have a large nose i have really bad bad or not bags but like dark spots under my eyes and just yeah i got a mess going on okay and i also have a scar in my eyebrow you can kind of see it and I have what I like to refer to as an eyebrow comb over. So it's really hard for me to draw on eyebrows because of the all the missing hair that's kind of not there. Anyway, it just makes it more difficult. So let's get crack a lacking. And if you're interested in any of these products, I will link them below if YouTube will let me. I tried to do it before and they were like, skirt, you can't be putting links in yours. You're too little girl, you know, because I'm not like affiliated with any of these brands and um, they don't be paying me. So fact number one, um, Alabama, the University of Alabama specifically, specifically the University of Alabama is the best college football team ever. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. In history, it's actually Michigan State, I think. Anyway, something new in Michigan, they're number one. We're not, we're number three. But Alabamians like to claim that we're the best ever. Could be true, I don't know, I don't really care that much. Moving on, for real. Fact number one, Emma introduced Mardi Gras to the Western world. Alabama, you don't say. Mardi Gras, thought that had to do with New Orleans. But no, mm -mm. Alabama, Alabama introduced Mardi Gras to the rest, to the Western Western world. Um, and the uh, celebration is held on Shrove Tuesday. What Shrove Tuesday you say? I don't know, not sure. Anyway, but that's the day before Lent begins. And that's all I know. In addition to that, I would like to give you a few makeup interesting things to talk about here. And they are what do I use to put makeup on my face? So, I got this little hickey do Blendy Blender, Beauty Blender, whatever it's called. I got my paintbrush for all my painty needs. I have my kabuki brush for all my kabuki needs. And I got this thing that was in my, it's a new one. But it's, it was in my original um, Bon Qui Qui video. And I did a lot of this and it looked like I was shaving. Well, let me tell you, since my first makeup video back in um, 2017 maybe? I don't know, it was back in the day, okay, okay. Um, since then, I have learned that when you apply foundation, you, press it into the skin. Okay, ladies, we press it. We don't take makeup and wipe it like this. No, ma'am, no. We don't take the kabuki brush and wipe it like this. No, ma'am, we don't. We don't take this and look like we're shaving our face. No, ma'am, we don't. We don't take this and do this. No, no, and no. That's what I learned, that's it. Good day. Just kidding, just kidding. Did you know that Alabama workers built the first rocket to put humans on the moon? Now let me tell you something about that. 
I live in Huntsville, Alabama, AKA Rocket City. Yeah, I said it was Rocket City. Proud of it, okay? Okay. That is kind of a cool fact. Makes me proud of where I'm from. Well, I'm not really from there, but I live here now. Sit some an old lady and all. Uh, you have to put on a primer according to the makeup courses that I have taken and the videos that I have watched. It's muy importante. And I'm a baller on a budget, so I use L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Miracle Blur. And we'll see if it does the job, okay? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I always use it. I feel like it does a good job. And when I was taking one of my makeup classes that I took, um, the lady that was teaching said that when you when you use these, they're either silicone based or, or silica or some form of silicone or, or, or it can be water based. Regardless, you need to push it into your skin. So that's what we're gonna do. And you really wanna focus on the more porous areas. So for me, my more, dang, it just flipped right on my dang face. Uh, anyway, and we're just gonna, you, you put it in your more porous areas is what she says. But also under your eyes, if you have fine lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, that kind of thing, you're gonna wanna put it there as well. So when you do it though, that you're you're gonna wanna push it into the skin, not just swipe it on, but literally push it into your skin. And the same thing with your nose, any any area that's really, um, it, you know, your pores look bigger as you get older, uh, or you may be younger and have pores that are larger but you're gonna wanna push, push it into those areas. Um, it's a good idea to moisturize your face. I have combination skin and I pretty much hit my, like the drier areas on my face or like my cheeks and my nose because I have like a postnatal drip or some sort of situation going on there. So I have to constantly wipe it. So it's usually pretty dry. Okay. Now that we've done that, time for a random Alabama fact. The world's first electric trolley system was built or was introduced in Montgomery in 19, nope, mm -mm. it was not mm -mm, in 1886, not 19, nothing, 1886, okay, okay. Electric trolley system, hello, brought to you by Alabama. You're welcome. Next on the makeup, I use, what's this you say? Oh, look, you're putting more or not. <laughs> anyway, it's you see this. It's, it looks dirty, but it's actually not. I just did not clean it with Windex, I guess, so it's not as beautiful as it could be. Anyway, this is what I mix my makeup on. And I am super pale. I probably should do some um, self tanner or go get a spray tan or something, but you gotta have money to do those things. And I don't have it. So, in a way. Okay, next fact about Alabama. Alabama is the only, yes, the only state um, with all major natural resources needed to make iron and steel. It is also the largest supplier of cast iron and steel pipe products. Again, Alabama is the only state uh, with all major natural resources needed to make iron and steel. It is also the largest supplier of cast iron and steel pipe products. You're welcome. I'm gonna mix my makeup. This bottle went through some things. I've had it for a minute. But it is Too Faced Born This Way Matte, 24 hour, undetectable, super long wear foundation. And isn't it beautiful? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, we got me. Hey, you may say, you may ask, one might ask. Nerd, it's nerd. Uh, and I also mix in a 
I mix a couple of things. I also have the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in hmm, hmm. You know what? I don't know what flavor this is. Um maybe maybe F4. It has an F4 up here. Hard to tell, hard to see it, hard to see it. I'll list it below. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Anyway, so that's real, real lot. This color is. And so I mix that and my, you know, born this way, Too Faced. And then I also mixed in just a dab, just a little dab of the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. And you might say to yourself, wow, what she need? Multi Use Sculpting uh, Concealer. Well, let me tell you, this face, we have no chin, we have no lips, we have a big nose, we got big eyes, we got an eyebrow situation because of the comb over, and we got no cheekbones, we just fatty face, we just got real fatty face, we got dark, deep, uh, dug in spots here, and I just felt like this would be the way to go. Time for another Alabama fact. My, my, what interesting facts we find. Montgomery, Montgomery is the capital. It is also the birthplace of the Confederate States of America. Now, do I know what Confederate States of America is? Not really. Is it something bad? I don't know. I've been hearing lots of things about the Confederate flag is bad, bad, bad. So, I don't know. You tell me. And also, in association with the Confederate flag, I mean, Confederate States, the Confederate flag was designed and flown in, excuse me, it was flown first in Alabama in 1861. Yay. I don't know if that's embarrassing or not. Ur, ur, ur. Not sure. My, my, my. What here is the situation we have here? Oh. You're back. <laughs> I didn't know if I would see you after that little break. Okay, well, good to have you back. Good to have you back. Okay, so anyway, what we have gotten to with our makeup situation is this. It's a tricky situation. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna mix it. Color that we hope to match my skin with, mixed. As you can see, I have redness in my face. No, I didn't have rosacea. I have, I just scrubbed the crap out of my face with a scrubby brush, I this. So, that is why my face is a little more red, but I feel like it's always a little red when I don't have makeup on. So, because of that, we use uh, a little bit darker tones to play down the red in my face and my skin. So, remember, we're gonna push the makeup into our face and into our pores. But I'm just gonna kind of paint little bits on. Oh, look, it looks like it's gonna match very well, very well. Mustache. Give myself a little beard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And we're gonna do this. And yes, I know the sound effect is not needed, but I enjoy them, and that's what really matters here. Hopefully, you will enjoy them too. Right. Okay. Don't focus on the wrinkles. Don't focus on the wrinkles. Oh, fine. I'm fine. Oh, yes, this is looking very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And also, you want to paint your eyelids. Why? Why? Well, let me tell you. It helps the eyeshadow. It, I believe it helped the eyeshadow. Now, you could prime, but we already primed, if you recall. We have put that stuff, the uh, Miracle Blur. We put it on our face, we put it on our eyelids, we put it everywhere, it's on the back of my hands, it's in my hands, it's in the palm of my hands. And that's what's really important here, okay? Anyway, try not to get deep into the hairline. We're just gonna paint all around, paint all around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're gonna blend it into the neck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Call it blend it, girl, call it blend it. Are you doing your makeup with me? Get ready with me. Get ready with me. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. 
pink. Oh, yes, we are looking good. We are looking good. I can't wait to see how far I've come. I would like to compare the two videos, Bunkwikwi versus me now, and see how far we have come with our makeup talents. Okay, okay. But back to the fun facts, okay, baby? We all fun fact it. Fun facts. Alabama became the 22nd state on December the 14th, 1819. What? Look at us doing big things. I got a thousand subscribers and they became the 22nd state. It's great, right, right. Also, the town of Enterprise houses the Bowl Weevil Monument. And let me tell you, you need to look up what a Bowl Weevil is because it is not a good thing. Not a good thing. Fine. Okay. Okay. Anyway, Enterprises Enterprise houses the Bowl Weevil Monument to acknowledge the role this destructive insect played in encouraging farmers to grow crops other than cotton. We celebrate that. That's a good thing. Let's read that again. To acknowledge the role this destructive insect played in encouraging farmers to grow crops other than cotton. <laughs> but we will be doing some things. Okay, now do your thing. Mm -mm. Next to the makeup. So now you're asking yourself, it looked like you just painted that on your face. That is not pressed in, man. That is not pressed in. You're right. You are right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our blendy that's slightly moistened. And we're going to push the stuff kind of out into the hairline so that where your um, hair is, uh, there will also be just a slight amount of makeup so that it's not like two-tone situation going on there. You know what you feel? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're going to press all of this in. It's going to push it in, honey. Push it in. Push it in early work. Okay, okay. So again, we're just pushing it in to the skin. Just keep pushing, just keep pushing. It's coming along very well, I think. I think it's coming along very nicely. Get on up in your nice honey. Get on up in there, because it's going to be a different color if you don't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anyway, and we're going to push it down onto our neckline so that we can try to attend a little on the ears too, honey, a little on the ears. Get them colored fainter. Anyway, we're going to push it on down the line. Make everything match. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were using the Kabuki, you would do the same thing. You would blend it on down the neck. And you would push it into the skin. I should really make a video about what not to do. Actually, I already did that. Long quickly. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Push it all into your skin. Like such. And technically, I guess you can really push it in with this as well. I just like to feel like I really did some things in regards to my makeup situation. So, that's what I did. If you're using this brush, same thing. You would just push it into the skin like that. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Like Marilyn Manson said, the beautiful people, the beautiful people. What about him, man? What about him? He got the situation on his hands too. A whole situation. Anyway, so you can see my makeup is fairly well distributed across the orifices of my face. The pores of my skin, if you will. Okay. Now, time for a fact. Let me get you a fact, boo. Let me get you a fact. Lewis, Hank Aaron, ever heard of him? Hank Aaron, no you have, possibly. Anyway, he was born in Mobile, Alabama in 1934. Look at Hank, look at Hank, what? Proud, it makes me proud-ish to be Alabamian sometimes, sometimes. Lewis was born in Lexington, Alabama in 1914. 
he died in 1981. Yeah, that was before I was born, so death ed, death birth ed. Anyway, Alabama is the official state song. Now, do I know what this song is? Unfortunately, no. How Alabama am I? Accent deep. Lucky for me, I got to live all over the United States because I came from a military family. So moving on. I am going to now show you how I do my hybrid situation and why do you care about that? Probably don't. But I have this come over situation because of the scarring. So it's a little more um, difficult to draw one's eyebrow on and it's equally hard and difficult to match them. So this eyebrow, I have to brush it a little more up. Why? To make room for the sticky situation we got here, okay? No question. This one, I brush it a little more down because it is a full flavor eyebrow and it has the capacity to be thicker, you see, because it actually grows hair where hair is supposed to grow. Okay, right. let's get started with the eyebrow situation. Now, I like to start with my raggedy eyebrow first. I'll be using um, Maybelline New York Total Temptation Brow Definer, number 305, the soft brown, to match my soft brown eyebrows, okay? So, I'm gonna start with the raggedy one first because it is very difficult to give this one a full flavor eyebrow because it can do it and then come back and try to give this one a full flavor because it cannot do it okay so we had to be careful mm -hmm. be extra careful so i am just going to you see what is the gap here we're just gonna take it from where my eyebrow begins and we're gonna draw just a little line very softly over did you get that did you get that Draw the line real softly over, okay? Okay. Now, because of the sticky eyebrow situation, <laughs> the comb over, if you will, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Okay, so we're going to come in here at the top. See how it had like a normal eyebrow looking? It's not normal, it is, it is not normal. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna draw this down the line. Cause again, sticky situation gotta make up for the slacking on the pimping and the missing hair okay it's coming along nicely it'll come in along nicely and then we're going to gently color in where we're missing her because it's thick i mean it's thin not thick it's thin this accent thick this eyebrow thin anyway so we're gonna come in her and do the dang thing. Give myself a full flavor eyebrow. Because that's how I like it. Full flavor, y'all, full flavor. This body was not made for diet anything. No ma'am. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. So now that I feel like I have reached eyebrow perfection on this one eye, we're gonna take this other raggedy brush and we're gonna brush through it slightly, gently, because we don't want to um, erase what we have just thrown out. So we're gonna do it like I said, we're gonna really gently do it. Really gently, okay? And come back and color in anything that we may have accidentally deleted. Now, we're gonna go to the other eyebrow. I like the shape that we have going on. It says, you know what? We can do some fine. And I try to structure my eyebrows uh, by taking the thing to the corner of my eye and trying to kind of match it where there's kind of an angle between, you know, I don't want to cut it too short. Like I wouldn't want it to come right here, like straight up and down. I like mine to be a little fuller, a little longer to make up for the fact that I'm missing hair there, okay? That's it, that's all. Right. Now, we're gonna take the other, oh, we're gonna do the other eyebrow, okay? So again, this one, there's more hair. And in this situation, 
the hair is kind of growing from an upward angling down look thing going on. Anyway, so because of that, we're gonna try to start off where the hair is not at all. There's no hair there, okay guys? There's no hair there. Ladies, no hair. They, no hair. Mm -mm, no, there's no hair there. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this is to try to match the situation going on with the normal shape of my eyebrow, okay? And then we're gonna come back in here and we're also going to kind of do like we did before on the other eye and draw the connection to where it goes from being little bitty fine baby hairs to actually full fledged eyebrow. And you kind of do that with a thinner tip, like not with a thinner tip, but like there's a more pointy end on this pencil. Um, try to give you a vision. Okay. Uh, and then we just color it in. And you don't wanna push hard with this particular um, eyebrow pencil. Like, you don't want, you want it to look like actual hair, okay? And in order to do that, you have to kind of apply gently. And what it does is applies like a thinner coat of the, so what it does is applies like a look, like a thin, extra coating to your actual eyebrow and then it gives a shading to the skin behind your eyebrow so if you just gently cover uh color not cover color it in it will be covered yep okay we're like almost at brow perfection for myself considering the fact that i have the eyebrow situation so if we're happy with the way it looks, we're gonna brush it just gently. You don't wanna push into the skin with this because again, it will erase what you have worked for. And yes, I think the brows look fairly similar given the comb over situation. Okay. But we think that looks good. And by we, I mean me. So. Again, just gently brush it, okay? Gently brush it. And then what I like to do, and I don't know if other people do this or not, because I actually have not seen anybody else do this, but I like to take a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way um, Ethereal Setting Powder. I like to take just a little bit of it and uh, set my eyebrows. I don't know if it really works or not, but in my head it does. So I just kind of dust this stuff on it and I feel like it makes the color stay a little bit better in my eyebrows. So there we go. Perfection to me, yeah. All right, fun facts. I'll have fun facts. Where are we going? Okay, the baseball player Willie, um, Willie Howard Mays, he was born in Westfield in 1931. Hello, Alabama. Um, a skeleton of a prehistoric man was found in Russell Cave. I don't know where Russell Cave is, but interesting that they would find a prehistoric man there. At 2,405 feet, I don't know how to say this name of this mountain, but Chi Aha, C A G A. AJ Mountain is Alabama's highest point above sea level. You're welcome. Moving on to the makeup situation. Once I have my eyebrows done, I want to go ahead and do my eyes. Now, I don't have a whole lot of luck with um, eyeshadow actually sticking on my eyes. I don't know why. It just doesn't like me. I'll be trying. I be trying to get it to stay on. It is. Got a problem with me. It goes way back, like Cadillac Peaks. And I do not appreciate it. But we try, we try, we try, we try to get it to stick every time. But what had happened was, I had think this video. What happened was, I had think this video this one time. And uh, I love 
Faye Therian. Said, Faye Therian has said that if you take some um, pencil eyeliner, if you take some pencil eyeliner and draw it onto your eyes and then smush it around and stuff, that the colors that you are applying or attempting to apply to your eyelid will stick on better. So today we using Ulta Beauty's eyeliner pencil in the color Penny. Okay, okay. So, so she has said to color myself in, basically. She did say to use a dark color if you're trying to apply a dark color. But the problem there is, I don't really have a darker color than this in the pencil form. So I am just going to rub this stuff on my eye and hope for the best. Oh yes, we're looking good, girl. We're looking good. You can't even tell I got it on. And we're going to do this other eye. Okay. And we're going to try not to stab ourselves in the eye with the pencil. You hear me? Huntsville, if you may recall where I am from, uh, it is known as the rocket capital of the world. Of the world. I said it. The world is a fact. Also, the Alabama Department of Archives is the oldest state-funded archival agency in the nation. What? You say we got old as facts? What? We do. We got some old stuff. We got some old stuff. Alabama has a fan club and a museum in Fort Payne. Now, let me tell you a little something extra that is not part of the fun facts, but there is a city called Tuscumbia, Alabama, and in that city, it has the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. Who cares? Me. Why do I care to share it with you? Well, they have one of the Alabama tour buses inside this museum. And I think you should go visit it. Mm-hmm. Tuscumbia, Alabama. Hashtag Tuscumbia. Hashtag Rocket City. Come to either one of us. We don't care. We would like to see you. We would like to host you. Also, my hometown, in case you're interested in that fun fact, is Leeton, Alabama. Now, Leeton, Alabama is the home of, I don't even know, probably 500 or less. And um, it is there that I am opening up some local businesses. So I hope to see you come visit. It's very, very tiny. There is literally one red light and um, yeah, not a whole lot to it. There's no like real restaurants, like as far as chains or anything there. There is a Dollar General and we only recently got that. Now we have this awesome new mayor and an awesome city council that is really trying to do some things. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to do some things. They're trying to grow it. So insert me trying to grow it too. Uh, they have nothing. And Percy Sledge is the probably one of the famous, most famous people that came from um, Leeton, Alabama. Now, his claim to fame is when a man loves a woman, you get hurt. I would sing it for you, but I can't sing. And I usually do it jokingly, but you do it too big. When a man loves a woman, I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but you get it. You get it back.